Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with a review of the brand, 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 brand new, I was about to say Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series, Black Kusantan Santo, from, not the Book of Boba Fett, but from Legends, not Legends, well, Legends, and just the comics in general, but, uh, you know, I have a few negative things to say about this figure, I have some positives, uh, but, you know, I guess without further ado, let's get into Black Kersantin's review. <laughs> so, before we go over the figure, as always, I want to start with the box. And this box is absolutely beautiful. They are continuing the uh, line of comics slash legends inspired characters from Star Wars media. This year, uh, last year, we got Darth Maul, Luke Skywalker, Jackson, and... Uh... <laughs> It was a it was a red Imperial Trooper. I'm sure it'll come to me. It had, like, the mismatched name. But this is in the Velcro box, so they're doing the same boxes. Uh, in this wave, we have uh, Sergeant Creel, which I do have, and I will review soon. And then I, ha I don't have Leia or the Vader, which I will hopefully get in the next few weeks or so. But Black Kersantan's bio reads, The ferocious and skilled Wookiee gladiator turned bounty hunter, Black Kersantan, has worked for the likes of Jabba the Hutt and Darth Vader can see he has some comic images on the side uh some a really cool picture on the back with accessories that he obviously does not come with because you know that's just life and then we have this awesome image of him versus obi-wan kenobi on tatooine where he did receive his scar so yeah very very cool figure so without further ado let's just get into it uh here is the black Santin figure and um obviously He's a very bulky Wookiee, and I do hope we do get a Book of Boba Fett one on an entirely new mold. Just do it, Hasbro. Just give us a brand new mold, great articulation uh, for Book of Boba Fett, Black or Santin. But this is based off Legends, and um, I will say that I like it more than I thought I was going to like it. I wasn't, that's not saying much because I was really not uh, excited for it because of the fact that it just... It's a reuse of Chewbacca, but I was very excited when I heard we were getting a Black Kersantin because I loved him in Book of Boba Fett, and that's kind of where I started to know his character, and then the fact that we're just getting a figure this quickly is awesome, but then I saw the figure, and I was a little let down. Obviously, you can see here's the Empire Strikes Back Chewbacca, which this is a great figure on the right body. Uh, Black Kersantin is obviously supposed to be way bigger. He's supposed to be like basically a gorilla that's what he kind of looks like in that he like he's super furry he's super big uh but this is just a skinny chewbacca which is not the greatest uh but he does have a new head sculpt uh and then you can see he does have his obi-wan kenobi scar across the eye which is absolutely amazing this head sculpt is great love this head sculpt they did a great job with the black chrysanthemum head sculpt you can see all his braids his fur uh, carries through the back but it's weird because we just don't get paint on the back <sighs> Hasbro um that's definitely odd because uh, it's painted here and it's just not on the back but he does have this new attachment uh on his body it's this weird color of gold it's it's like the furthest thing from gold I'd say there's like a little bit of a shine to it but it's not that great. Uh, and then one complaint I do have is that these spikes are all going in different directions. Like, this side is good. But then this side, I'm like, what? What is this one doing? <laughs> I'm sure that's how it's supposed to be. But it's kind of warped. And it just looks odd. Um, but great detail on this new piece. So the new pieces include the head and this. And that's literally it. But the rest of it is basically just a black Chewbacca. Which is great, I guess. No, I don't mean that. And then he does come with his bow caster, which you obviously can attach to the back. But like I said, this guy is supposed to be like, like I'm making the comparison with a gorilla because that's like the size he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be massive, muscular, huge. He's supposed to be like the most bulky Wookiee that you could find. He's an assassin. He's a bounty hunter. He's all, all these things. And like when you even look at it on the box, he's just huge. He, he's massive. He looks like a build a figure and then even on the back he looks huge but this is just kind of a half-assed 
half-assed job by Hasbro, but I am accepting this because hopefully because they made this, they can do a new mold for a Book of Boba Fett Kersantan, which would be absolutely amazing. Uh, but that's all I have to say about the Kersantan, so let's get on to his articulation segment, or lack thereof. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Uh, the one thing I don't like about these Chewbacca figures is it is one of the first Black series, so it's very stiff, and even, let alone, it's old, obviously, it's just, the design of the figure is very hindering articulation-wise. For example, you cannot move the head. That's, wow, you get some movement. Uh, you can try to push it. I'm sure if you heated it up, you could move it, but you're not getting that much movement with him. Uh, with the head sculpt, you can't move. You can look up and down side, no full 360, so that's all you get. The arms go out that far. They go, usually go full 360, but this gets in the way, uh, and then they go in. The elbows go in less than 90. They go down. They can't actually go like that, which is gross. Uh, there is a swivel there as well. And then the hands on this side goes uh, horizontally like this. And this side, I believe, goes, nope, it's also horizontal. Uh, so you can see that. Uh, and then the ab crunch is very odd. There's two, I believe there's two spots. Nope, there's just the one. But it goes down that much, back that much. You do get a full 360. Ugh, I did not like that. Uh, and then their legs can kick forward that much, back, not can't do the splits that much. Upper thigh cut, full 360, single jointed knees going that much. There is a swivel there as well. Uh, and then the leg or the feet kick up that much and down that much. And there's a little bit of angle pivot, but I was just sad <laughs> by doing the articulation on this figure because I really want us to get like an amazing Chewbacca figure. And not, it's not that it's terrible. It's like, obviously it's going to be hard, but like Imagine if we were to get a literal, just a furry Chewbacca, or a flocked Chewbacca. That would be insane, but I'm sure we'll never get that, and I'm sure we'll keep using this mold until the day I die, so, oh well, but that's the articulation, so let's get on to the comparisons. So, I believe that is how the bowcaster goes on the back of the figure. Obviously, he is very tall. I believe he's about eight uh, or seven, eight inches tall. But here's our first comparison with the Sergeant Creel, which I will have a review out soon. But you can obviously see how short uh, this is compared to the Gersantin. And then here we have the Book of Boba Fett slash not Book of Boba Fett slash Mandalorian Boba Fett. Uh, so you can get some, uh, some things with them. But for now, to have a Book of Boba Fett tag team, I guess this works. But I obviously want a lot of improvements with these two figures. I want to get the new outfit for Boba and a way better Gersantin. Then I wanted to show him next to Zalbar, which is the one of the hardest figures to find, as everyone knows. It's just it goes for uh, uh, more more billions. It's it just it's so hard to find. Uh, same thing with the Chewbacca. Well, this one's actually hard to find. Uh, but you can see it's cool to have all these Wookies. I guess they look good in numbers, and it's not that they need to be the most flexible. But like even with this Chewbacca, you can't even move the head, and I don't know what way there would be around that. But still, it's just like, I don't know. Black Series is so updated now, especially with the Stormtrooper, how poseable it is. And these are just statues, basically. But those are the two Wookiees. And then finally, I do want to show him next to Vader, which he is hired to buy. And Alec Guinness Obi-Wan, not the Ewan McGregor one, because I don't have the Obi-Wan Kenobi one yet. I do have lots of Ewan McGregor Obi-Wans, but I, I don't really want to compare them next to this one because it's not the right outfit. This is the closest to it. So you can get them battling him, giving him the scar. Uh, but I did have an idea with that new Obi Wan Kenobi, the uh, from the new the next wave uh, with like the fifth brother Darth Vader and Reva. That figure, I believe they could reuse, and for a wave three of Legends figures, they could do this Obi Wan, which would be really really cool, uh, and I'd be a big fan of that. And I would just have you more Obi Wans, so that's awesome. But that is the comparisons for Santo. So let's get on to. My final thoughts, uh-oh. So overall, I'm going to try not to be as hard as I want to be on this figure, but it's not. It's not good. It's not that great. It's, it's, this shows kind of the worst side of Hasbro. This reminds me of the situation we had with that ARC Trooper from the Clone Wars wave 
just a complete inaccurate reuse. And this is basically the same. I mean, we did get some new pieces here, which I'm grateful for, but I just, this is not a accurate figure. Even if they would have just given us new arms and new legs, that would have been way better, but it's just so skinny and it takes me out of the reality of Chrysanthemum. Uh, but I do, after having it for a while, I'll accept it, it works, but that doesn't mean I don't want another Kersantin, which I very much do. And this one will just go on the Legend shelf once uh, I do get that one, but until then I'm going to put it on the Mandalorian shelf because I'll just go with my Boba Fett. Overall, it's not that great. I'd, I got this guy at Toys R Us Canada. I paid about $42, so very steep, uh, but I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. That's 5.5 out of 10. Not the worst, but by far not the best. Uh, this is not great Hasbro. You can do a lot better. I know you can. Uh, but uh, yeah, so thank you for watching my video. And this is a figure in which I do want to hear your guys' opinions in the comments below. Uh, after seeing the video, is it as bad as you thought it was? Is it a little better? Is it just the same? Uh, let me know all your thoughts on this figure. Let's get a discussion going about Kersantin. But as always, I have been Jagger Collector. What a weird name, am I right? <laughs> and uh, I will see you in tomorrow's review, which hopefully will be Maggot. But until then... I'm so skinny. <laughs>